the weather I've been having. In my downtime here, I've packaged up my Sharp Star 61 EDPH II telescope. This hasn't even seen first light, which is, of course, what I'm blaming on all this bad weather. I'm really happy the way this turned out, and while I may use it on my Orion Sirius EQG mount, I also expect to use it as a very portable imaging solution when paired with my Skywatcher AZ GTI mount a nice small total package to take out with me. I have the telescope, guide scope, guide camera, dew straps, dew controller, electronic focuser, 12 volt powered USB hub, imaging mini computer, and a wireless access point capable of providing me Wi-Fi and internet access, all here on this Vixen dovetail. I've also customized all the wiring to the required lengths and even got some shorter USB cables. Compact and portable for sure. As always, all parts are in the video description below. So let's take a closer look. Here's my complete setup as currently configured. Let's start with the telescope itself. This is the Sharpstar 61 EDPH II ED triplet APO. It's an airspace triplet design that uses ED lenses and includes two brings with integrated handle and a short dovetail plate. The bundle also includes an F4.5 full frame reducer that shortens the focal length to just 275 millimeters. The reducer has an integrated 360 degree manual rotator built in. To help with dew prevention, the telescope includes a retractable dew shield. I have added AstraZap dew straps to both the Sharp Star and Guide Scope. I have cut the dew strap cables to length to remove all excess cabling that would interfere with such a compact design. The dew controller is a Pegasus Astro Dew Zap dual channel dew heater. If you look closely, you can see the modified shortened cables running to the straps. The telescope comes with a two and a half inch rack and pinion focuser. I've added a ZWO EAF electronic focuser to it. I am using a small ZWO 30 millimeter guide scope coupled with a ZWO ASI 290mm mini guide camera. I have not yet connected an imaging camera or filter wheel, but I will likely use my ZWO ASI 1600mm Pro cooled monochrome camera along with a QHY 7 position filter wheel for both broadband and narrowband imaging. I may also try my ASI 533MC Pro for one-shot color imaging. For image acquisition and device connectivity, I have added a small form factor Windows 10 mini stick PC and a powered USB hub. To convert the PC power to 5 volt from 12 volt DC, a small voltage converter was added. Since this small setup will likely be used in the field, I added the Mango AP router capable of providing a Wi-Fi hotspot and internet access while tethered to my iPhone or Android phone. In order to achieve proper balance, I have added an extended Vixen dovetail to the mount. It has been attached beneath the original dovetail in order to provide clearance for the focuser. As one last point to mention, I have replaced all USB cables with the shortest options I could find and have customized all power cabling to native 12 volt DC. I will only have a single power cable traveling down the mount, which will be powered by either an AC-DC power converter when at home or directly off a 12 volt DC battery in the field. I have also custom built my EQ Direct USB mount control cable to remove unnecessary cable length. If you are interested in customizing any of your own cabling, you can easily locate my videos on these topics. Maybe that will inspire you to do some cleanup of your own on your next rainy day. Let me know if it does or if you have any questions by leaving a comment. Of course, and as always, like and subscribe. 
and take a look at my other videos that will take you through making your own mini PC, configuring a tethered access point for internet access in the field, making your own custom length cables for power, do strap cabling, and even making your own USB serial EQ direct cables. As always, clear skies. Someone should have clear skies. Talk soon.